Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to teach you how to make $100 a day or more on Facebook without having to spend any money at all. You know, I wanted to find a system that anybody could do, right? Anybody, even if you're completely broke, if you have zero dollars to spend, regardless of where you live in the world, you can do this from any country. As long as you have a smartphone and an internet connection, you can do this. And I'm gonna give you the whole method here. I'm not gonna leave out steps. I'm not gonna give you half of the system and then make you pay for the other half, nothing like that. This is the full thing right here. This is a simple five step process that just about anybody can do, but a lot of people try to do it and do it wrong. So make sure you pay attention to all the details here because I will tell you uh, the way that most people mess up and how you can avoid doing the same thing. Step one is to find an affiliate link for a product to promote. Now, if you don't know what an affiliate link is, this is affiliate marketing, which means that you are finding somebody else's product and you are selling that product for them. And so you get a unique affiliate link, which shows that people are buying through your link. And so you get paid, you'll get paid a commission, sometimes 25%, sometimes 40%, sometimes 50%, sometimes even more. In fact, I'm gonna show you an awesome product that you can sell where you get 100% commission. That's right, you get all the money to yourself. Now, there are a whole bunch of affiliate products that you could sell, but I recommend that you choose one based on your experience or your knowledge or what you're interested in. So if you do digital marketing, you could sell a digital marketing product, or if you play guitar, then you could sell a product about how to play guitar, or if you used to be a smoker and now you quit, uh, you could sell a course about how to stop smoking. You get the idea. Whatever it is, you want to have some knowledge about that subject. And even if you don't have the knowledge now, you can always go research it. So that's why I say you should choose a subject that's at least interesting to you. So you can research it and be researching something that you're actually interested in. And you don't need to buy any ads. You know, a lot of people, when they're talking about affiliate marketing, they run ads. Well, you don't need to pay for any ads. This is all organic which means non-paid through Facebook. So to find a product, you can go to clickbank.com or jvzoo.com. They have a whole big selection of products that you can choose from. Or my recommendation, and the product that has made me by far the most money through affiliate sales is ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is a marketing software, but they also sell a whole bunch of high quality courses about how to do digital marketing. And you can sell any one of those courses you want, and usually they pay a 40% commission. However, they have one course, which I think is their most popular course. It's a course I took myself called the One Funnel Away Challenge, which is an absolutely awesome value. It costs $100 to buy. And if you get the sale, if you get the sale through your affiliate link, you get 100% of that profit. So you get that $100. So if you can sell just one of those per day, then you've made $100 per day. And the people who buy that course are very likely to buy the ClickFunnels software, which gets you a recurring commission every month, and they're likely to buy other courses from ClickFunnels as well. So if you wanna sign up for an affiliate for ClickFunnels, I'll put a link in the description. It's 100% free. Although I certainly do recommend that you take the One Funnel Away course if you get the chance. I'll put the link to that in the description also. And I think this is one of the best things you can sell as an affiliate. It sells really well, it's really popular, but you don't have have to do that if you don't want, right? Like I said, go to clickbank.com, go to jvzoo.com. There's a, t all the products that you could possibly think of you can sell as an affiliate. Although again, the ClickFunnels course is a pretty easy sell and it offers 100% commission, which is pretty hard to find elsewhere. So once you sign up as a ClickFunnels affiliate or affiliate for whatever it is that you want to sell, uh, you get an affiliate link, which is what you share with other people. So that's step one is just to get that affiliate link. Now step two is to join Facebook groups. Now the groups that you want to join are the groups that have people that are interested in the sort of thing that you're selling. So if you want to sell the ClickFunnels course, look for Facebook groups that are all about digital marketing or making money online or sales. Because the people that are in those groups are the kind of people that would be interested in your course. Or if you want to sell a product about how to stop smoking, find groups about people who are trying to stop smoking or at the very least find groups where there are a lot of smokers. The more specific you can get, the better, right? If you're looking for people who are already trying to achieve what your product helps them achieve, that's the best way you can go. Now, most groups on Facebook are free, but some of them you have to pay to get in. I'm a member of a few paid groups for digital marketing and making money online kind of stuff, and paid groups are always better than free groups because if you're in a paid group, then everybody else in that group has also paid. So that means that people in that group are the sort of people who want results and are willing to pay for them. So the people in the paid groups are definitely better than the people in the free groups. And even if it's a cheap paid group, right? Like, like I'm in a couple of groups that cost 10 bucks a month, more or less. It's very cheap, but still, the people who are willing to pay $10 a month are a whole lot better than the people who are not willing to pay anything at all. 
So if you can pay to join a couple of groups, it's definitely gonna make life easier for you, but it's not required. You can do this in the free groups too, because people who are willing to pay do join free groups as well as paid groups. So you will find some good people in those free groups. It's just that they're more vetted, right? They're, they're more qualified if you go to the paid groups. And then the last thing you wanna look for is that there's a lot of people. So if you join a group and there's only 50 people, well, that's not gonna be much good, right? You want the bigger the group, the better. Okay, so now that you've joined all the groups that are relevant, what you wanna do is go into the group and friend request a bunch of the members of the group. And I like to target the people who are engaged in the group. So, so look at the recent posts in the group, see who commented, see who liked, and friend request all those people. And you don't wanna to go too crazy with this because Facebook will start to notice and they'll block you temporarily. So don't go adding a thousand people in a day, right? Keep it to maybe 50 maximum. And a lot of people will accept your friend request because they see that you're in the same group and probably they're in that group in the first place because they wanna connect with other people that are interested in that same thing. So they'll be happy to accept you most of the time. Okay, now that you've gotten some new Facebook friends, step four is to start sending them messages and provide value to them. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button because it makes YouTube like me better. And I'm always releasing new videos like this telling you how to make money completely for free. So if you appreciate that and you want more of that in the future, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you get all my updates. Okay, so now when you message people, you want to have a normal conversation, right? You want to legitimately connect with those people. You don't wanna be salesy, you don't wanna be just trying to shove your product down their throat. So the easiest way to do that is to start with what you have in common, and what you definitely have in common is that you're members of the same group. So ask the person, oh, how long have you been in this group? How do you like this group? That's the easiest way to build rapport because you already have this in common with this person. After that, ask them what they're hoping to gain from the group, and this is super important because this is where they will reveal to you what they're trying to do, what their goals are. And you might have to do a little bit more digging to try to figure figure out what they're trying to do, what they're trying to accomplish. And if it's something that's super obvious, like trying to quit smoking, if they're in a quit smoking group, then you know, ask a little more nuanced questions, like how, how many days have you had without a cigarette? Like, or what difficulties have you had? That kind of thing. What have you tried? What's worked? What's not worked? The point is that you wanna have a genuine interest in what they want, what their goals are, and you wanna see if you can help them. And then whenever you figure out that they're trying to do or whatever it is that they're stuck on, you can recommend resources that will help them. So those might be uh, an online course, or a book, or a product, or a YouTube video, or a blog. It doesn't have to be your content, just something that they might find helpful. And even if you don't know what would be helpful, you could go research a little bit. They say, oh, I'm having trouble with X, Y, Z. You could go Google that and do a little research and say, hey, this book might be good. This YouTube video might help. You can use any resources that you want. They don't have to be like your content, right? You can send my content if you want. Go through my YouTube channel, see if any of my videos would be helpful to people. You know, I'd be happy to get the exposure. But the point is you want to really understand where people are coming from, what they're trying to do, and how you can help them. And then step five, the last step, is to recommend your affiliate products where appropriate. So if somebody says, I'd really like to learn how to make money online, or I'd really like to learn how to start an online business, that's the perfect opening for you to say, well, I just happen to know this One Funnel Away Challenge, which is a perfect introduction for that. It's an intensive training all about how to make money online taught by a group of internet millionaires. Right, that's the perfect opening because you're actually helping them with what they want to achieve. So don't spam people. Don't like try to shove your product down their throat, right? Don't recommend your product if it's not what they're looking for. If they say, for example, I'm looking to make money by investing in real estate, well, don't try to shove an internet marketing course down their throat. They're not interested. If you know anything about real estate, if you have some resources that might help them about real estate, uh, you can go find that out. Like if you saw a video that was great about how to invest in real estate, show it to them. Remember that you're trying to help these people. You're not trying to shove your product down their throat and not everybody is gonna be interested in your product and that's okay. You can still build connections. You can still provide value anyway. So that's all five steps. What I hope you got from this was that if you wanna be successful, help people first and then make money second. Right, if you're just looking at people like piggy banks and you're doing this wrong, you wanna help people and make that your primary objective and you will find that as you start helping people, those opportunities to help them in a way that is profitable to you as well will come up. But your job is not to force your product onto them. Your job is to provide things that will help them.
And I believe that this is gonna get more and more true as time goes on, that in order to be able to make money, you need to provide actual value to people. You need to be able to help people, as I describe in this video. Being a pushy salesman just works less and less as time goes on, so I really don't recommend that route. Now, if you follow the steps as I told you, you're gonna get two huge side benefits from this too. The first is that you're going to gain a really thorough understanding of what people in your niche are looking for. What are their needs? What are their dreams? What are their fears? What are their struggles? You're going to get to know people on an intimate, personal level, and you're gonna get a really good big picture idea of what these people want, what drives them. And once you know that, that gives you a ton of power to be able to meet their needs, and once you can meet their needs, that's when you get paid. So maybe you create a product for yourself, or you, maybe you find a bunch of other affiliate products. You don't have to do this with one product, by the way. You can do this with a whole bunch of products. The better you come to understand these people, the better you know what their needs are, and the better you know what their needs are, the better you can recommend products, including affiliate products, which will meet those needs. And then side benefit number two to this process is that you will make genuine connections. You will actually make friends with people. You will have people who trust you because you have demonstrated that you are more interested in helping the person than making money off of them. And if you can recommend them resources that actually help, or you can give them advice that actually helps, whether or not you make money from it or not, that person's gonna like you, and that person might be wildly successful in the future and might have huge opportunities for you. You never know. This is a great way of connecting with people who are committed, who are motivated, and who are going places. So if you can connect with people with the mindset of how can I help this person, instead of, like most people, think how can this person help me, well, you will be a rare and precious treasure and everybody will trust you and everybody will want to do business with you. If you can do that, then the world is yours. And you know, it's kind of a paradox that the people who most want things for themselves are the least likely to get them because in order to get those things, they need to put the focus on other people. They need to give up the focus on themselves and start thinking about how can I help? How can I provide value to somebody else? Now, I know that anybody can follow this process. It's such a simple process, but if you have some reason why you think that you can't do it, I recommend that you watch this video all about the nine most common excuses I hear and why they suck. <laughs> If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you'd share it on social media, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe.